<coughs> Ow. Hi. Should I ask? How are you? Good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning to uh, lounge about. Yeah, on someone else's roof. Are you okay? Yeah. Um. <sighs> was just a bit anxious, I guess. Well, I'm back. Des hasn't <clears throat> shown up. So, where? Oh. There's my dad. Sorry, I was here, but then I wasn't. Go back. <laughs> you were saying? Feel the ground. Vez then come back last night, and uh, you know, with spooky bitches and stuff, I uh, was a little worried about sleeping alone. So I figured I'd, you know, try to pay you a visit, but door was locked. So hi, I'm here now. I would have thought Vezrin would have been back, at least in the middle of the night. Hmm. He was stable when he right. when they moved him. Like that, he didn't need medical treatment. Yes, but you have to understand, he was moved by <laughs> elves. Yeah. And if they find out who he is, we have a problem. If they don't already know, remember <clears throat> the guy. I've shown my face. The person who was in charge had that thing where he looked at Vezrin and saw through him or something. Remember him telling you about that? Yes. Yeah. I've shown my face at the castle before. I'll just swing by acting like I'm looking for work from the guardsmen. See if I hear anything. Get the forge running, please. I'll be back very soon. I'm not gonna be long, gone long. <clears throat> right. So I'll let you inside to wait. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. I won't be gone long. Got some things I want to run by you when you get back. I'll come right back to you. Yep. You just like knock next time and I'll let you in. The uh, Jew? Rearrange? I clean things up. Hmm. hmm. Why? L little different than what I remember, you know? Different piles of different things, unless you read that much. Wish that was me. I'm, I'm learning, though. Still, still can't read, though. <coughs> Looking for. Yeah, I 
able to uh, convince Rin to come along, so we will have a hog. Oh, I didn't see that. He's talking to the apothecary right now. Damn. Maybe there's a little power walk down there. Please. Lady, there's a morning jog going on, if you're interested. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Have you seen Thor? Ah, uh, Shriek. No, actually. Hey. <clears throat> a question for you. Have you seen our blue clad herbalist friend? Not today, no, I've only just woken up. Okay. The surgeon went for a nighttime stroll. Head over to the dock and start stretching. I don't know where he is. <clears throat> Understood. Power walk, and then we gotta get going to the morning jog. Mm -hmm. huh. We'll do a quick pass, and then uh, we'll get to moving. It's a fucking sack of fucking potato. <laughs> he does not wake up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Everything good? <clears throat> yeah, he's all tuck it out for some reason. <laughs> well, that he was you. swimming all night. Swimming? Yeah, I found him coming up, up from the shore first thing in the morning. Hmm. Figured he'd know better after being eaten by a shark last time. <laughs> but how are you, Street? I've only just woken up. <sighs> Still. Spooling up for the day, I guess. And you? Spooling up. Okay. Well, I'm, I feel great. Good. Taking off yesterday, but um, yeah. Today's a new day. Let me know if you need more thread to spool. It's today the day you become worthy. <laughs> nah. By your, your by your order, I should stay unworthy for a little while. Yeah. Like to keep you around. Yeah. Morning, Marcus. Uh, oh, god I, damn it. Sam. Oh my god, he's worthy. I distinctly moved out of the way, but okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hard to All move right, in this case. I, I see how it is. Uh, come yeah. on, Marcus. You got all That's that right. on on you, man. I still got it. Like I could throw my house. body at you and I could kill you. Yeah. Absolutely. I can just body slam people. Yeah. Probably, actually. You would One of these days, I'll try to bench you, Sanders. I think I could. <laughs> With the armor. Bet. Right. Is, uh... Um... Mr... Sh Shriek, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> seen more than pass through here by chance. He was around here earlier. I don't know where he went to. I think he's looking for someone. Um, I'm just looking for him to inform him that Mr. Vezrin has returned from the keep. And oh, he has? Good health. Where is he? Aye. Um, I do believe he went back to his shop, if I... If the direction he walked off in says anything. Appreciate it. I'm gonna let some people know. Of course. Might wait for him to get Vez. Uh, unless. Sharik, are you still at the house? I I'm literally just walked in. Nice. Um, cool. Vezran's awesome. back, by the way. Oh, perfect. Yeah, apparently he was heading towards his shop, or maybe his house, that sort of way. He looked in good health, apparently. Oh, okay, good, good, okay. I was really worried, and turns out I'm worried for nothing, which is the best type of worried. 
All right. Well, then, uh, I guess I shouldn't wait for your dad anymore since, you know, he already did his job. Uh. <laughs> He's effective. I'll give him that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, apparently, yeah. All right. Wait, uh... So he's walking towards the shop, you said, or is he, like, here? Went towards his shop, last I heard. Or maybe his house. That sort of area, right. that direction he was heading in, so... Yeah. You should be able to find him pretty quick. All right, and then I'll take your back door, then. All right. Uh, it was nice uh, seeing you this morning so early. Yes. You know, we should get a bite together. So, oh, yeah, when you're hungry, let me know. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. Heck yeah. All right. See you later. <sighs> Jealousy is an ugly color on you, Kyla. Three more ingots. He walks. Yeah. Oh, I think I got enough sleep. Maybe, hopefully. Well then. I was getting after the events. Crazy. You didn't get eaten by sharks, did you? Well, you Almost. Walking about, at least. Not just sharks. There's well, a squid too. And starfish. Why were you swimming so early? I wasn't. I was tossed. Drage tossed me with quite far out into the water. I've been swimming ever since. I got here roughly at the break of dawn. And I found a note to Zim left me. Uh, uh, Zim left a note saying that he left the forge a little warm and... Uh, uh, there's a blanket and a pillow I could use. That's kind of him. Well, I'm glad you didn't drown. I was there when I was tossed. Almost. It was quite an adventure. Yeah. 
There's a point where I was coughing up water, but other than that, I should be fine. I'm just tired, I'm a little injured, but you know, I'm still alive. Thanks for that. Is. <clears throat> Take it easy today, okay? I'll probably stay around the forge. I'm not going in the water. Not for today. Too much swimming last night. My everything's sore. <clears throat> Do you know how to write? I'm learning. I know how to read. Can you count? Uh, kinda. To a point, yeah. Um, count how much wood we have and mark it down in that section, please. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. A long time of practice. Some people like you. Uh. Anyway, business to attend to. No worries. Take care, Capitana. Good morning, gents. Good morning, Sergeant. Is it you and me, Kai? Um, in the window. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Morden. Uh, Vezrin returned. He should be back at his shop. Morning. Good to see you again. You haven't seen someone today, have you? No, not recently. Apparently, people were looking for him. There's something, uh, Keeper was here. No, I was hoping to be served by anyone. Not here this morning? Doesn't look like it. Alright, give me a second. What can I get you? A bowl of soup, please. First of all, I was up almost all night. One bowl of the best soup in Nardis. How many soups in Nordis are there? I don't know, and I really don't care at this point. <laughs> Having a rough day already, it's only just started. I'm gonna tell you this, Sherik. Don't get married and keep secrets. They just come back and bite you in the ass eventually. <laughs> Keeping secrets is what I do, Clifford. Don't keep them from your wife. She'll always find out. Just don't have a wife. What can I get for you, ma'am? You haven't seen Summer yet, have you? Well, you're getting there. Mm. <coughs> I suppose so. Let me check.
Close enough. We just won't tell it to Zim. <clears throat> Warm soup. What's this? Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Be right back, my ass. This fucking order is draining us. Hazel. Did um, the Bowie look? tell you what's going on? No, he said that um, someone went for a moonlight walk. Yes, didn't elaborate. exactly that. <clears throat> and if you can guess my worried face, yeah, who that was. Um, I just wanted to see if you had seen him, but if not, I'll continue my walk. No, not yet. A little more haggard than her normal radiant self. Something's missing. The normal cloud of perfumed oils is barely even perceptible. Maybe it's been a while since she put them on. Obviously distracted. Someone the name is Shriek. Soma's apparently missing. That's not good. Took a walk Is yesterday. All the stuff that's been going on. Yeah. I talked to, to Zingy last night about the, uh, the trident. He told me to ask you for how to work it and how much it would cost for me to, to get it made. And how much I'd have to work to pay it off. Um, a trident, right? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him out of iron. Uh, yeah. We normally charge about nine silver fifty for that. Nine silver? Yeah. We're also mm. quite low on iron ingots right now. I'm going to put an order in with the guild. Right. Um, I got like two silver, but I need to make a lot more. Mm hmm. Uh, is there anything I can do to help pay for it? As I said, I I can do what I can to help with learning how to work this. Um. It's hard. We're in the middle of a large order right now with a, well, for a group of quite <clears throat> interesting people. We don't really want to be learning on it. If we had any ore, I'd okay. teach you how to melt it down into bars, but we don't, so we're going to have to figure that out. We are out of iron ore uh, right now. <clears throat> I see. So we're in a pretty bad position. Oh, it's fine, we can always wait. As I said, I can work towards it. Yeah. 
And then once I have worked enough value of it, then we can make it. Shriek, have you seen my cousin around? No, but I heard he came back recently. He might be at his house or the shop, but yeah, that's all I heard. Well, I was I just at my shop and well, somebody knocked on his door earlier and no answer. So I haven't seen him. Only heard that he came <sighs> back. Who knows? Great. Well, the search continues. Thanks anyway. Sure. Everyone's looking for someone today. We should get three. I'm going to get my air. Yeah. Three air. Oh, it seems like they are. Actually, have you seen Miss Torty? Speaking of looking for people, I can finally get off where she's made the flippers. <laughs> she was around earlier. She's looking for this one. Be going hey, Frenchie, do you have a second? What's up? Um, Kylie would like to take a trip to the Merchant's uh, Guild to try and get some more iron ore. Um, is it possible to have him meet with his supplier, or if not, I can just leave him a piece of paper? Give me, uh, like, two minutes. I'll get the NPCs ready. Thank you. Sorry, were you asking me something? Oh, have you seen Miss Tolsey? I could maybe pick up those flippers. Um, she was at her house this morning and she went to go look for Versa. So. Right. What do you think the other men are doing? Do you think all of them are going to be sipping up the <clears throat> Is there anything we could do uh, today? Um, I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes and then I'm about to go visit the um, Merchants Guild. Says he was supposed to be here, but he's got distracted, I guess. Well, what's it like in the Merchants Guild? Do you wanna come? Sure. <clears throat> Never been. It's noisy, so prep yourself for that, unless it's a quiet day, in which case, <clears throat> quiet. But last time I was in there, it was a bunch of yelling. Did you eat your soup? I did. Good. I didn't know where to put the bowl. Um, run it back to the uh, tavern for me then, if you don't mind. All right. Thank you, Mr. Shriek. Mm-hmm.
Oh, but the rest be able to trouble detector going off can see up. Kyler, your uh, merchant skills ready for you. Morning. Morning. Doing well. Surviving, getting by. I'm just waiting on someone. Has he? Uh, hey, Sherry. Yep. <clears throat> uh, I forgot my dagger up on your rooftop. Can I be let in so I can go grab it? I don't need to be let out. I'll just climb over and drop down or whatever. <laughs> Hasn't stopped you before getting into my house. Do you need help, sir? Thank you. Oh, I think I, I've got it. I got. Cooper, I just need to see. You're right, Summer. Oh shit! You see him. He is completely covered in muck and dirt. Absolutely, lo looks like shit. Let's get it to the warehouse for now. I need. I need more than. Need to talk with. Oh crap. He was looking for you, just... Come on. I need to... Uh, to, the, to the infirmary. Right. Where's uh, Basil? Is she alright? She's up ahead. Do you want me to go get her? Oh, is she? Please. Say I that. need her to know that I'm alright. Why are you going to all my squads? Do you mean Soma? He's by the fucking forge. Grab those people up there. Morden. He's, he's Morden. He's by the forge. Grab those people before they fucking run too far. Oh my fucking god. I have drought speed. I should be catching them up. Holy shit. Soma's by the forge. Please stop fucking running away from me. I'll catch them. If I have drow speed, I should be able to catch them. You might be a little faster than me. Fuck. Basil! Basil! Yeah, you're faster than me. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> this is so stupid. Just fuck them to what I deal with every day. Drink. Holy fuck. Basil, stop! Holy shit! <laughs> fuck sake! For the love of God, stop, Basil! He's at the forge! Basil! Soma is at the forge! Oh my fucking god, this is so stupid. <laughs> fuck sake. Basil! <laughs> Basil! Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck sake, Basil! I'm chasing you since the fucking gates. Soma is at the forge. Fuck's sake. She's fucking fast. Yeah, I I should be catching them because I have fucking drow speed, but I'm not. She's in fucking high heels for fuck's sake. I think she took them off. Raving, she's barefoot.
fucking nothing happens all fucking morning, and then the second I get something with the DMs, I'm fucking dragged away into this. Like, fucking <laughs> three kilometers out of town. Not a bad idea. You know, I always think of just leaning my arm at him and walking off with a few gold, but. <sighs> well, you know, friendly advice. Don't. Just. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> yeah. Severick, come. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just fucking ran two kilometers out of town chasing a fucking woman in high heels. Knock knock. Oh. Hello, Sharik. Hey. Uh. Need to find Nisk. 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 I was, I was gonna say, first person is in action Neath. here. There we somewhere. go. Neath. Neath. Well, see, thing is, they're not here, but they did let me know that you had an order in, and it is here. Oh, fantastic. Um, I'm gonna need to place another uh, order I'll go well. and get it for you. Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, well. I don't shall write that down, actually. I can leave his uh, payment you with you. You can write it down there. Nah, well, yeah. That you can, and I believe currently it's around 20 to 24 units of iron ore. Sure, yeah, and that sounds about right. That he was able to give you, so I'll be back. Uh, this is crazy. Thank God we keep it on the first floor. Stay close. You want to carry some? Actually, no, you shouldn't carry some. Okay. Uh, I can help if it helps. Oh, this is epic. Oh. Here you go. Thanks for that. <laughs> I've left his uh, left his money with that. The next order that should come through, just basically the same thing. If he needs more, um, well, we just need more iron ore coming through. That's all. Of course, but you have twenty-four units of iron ore. I appreciate that. Thank you. Of course. Do as you please, but that's interesting now that the Arlandis are here. I heard about that. Apparently someone in Royal Armor too. Uh, Royal Guard and Adwick soldiers. Really? Yes. That's strange. Old part of them came in yesterday. I mean, the Osram Pass has been closed for the past two years. Mm. At least to the public. Mm. Maybe Ireland's trying to call Gradier into war. I mean, they're still dealing with the Ratman over there. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's it's a nightmare over there. Hmm? One last I got out, especially now I had a week of all places. Hmm. And then the whole shit in the fucking Quill and Blade, which is very ugly. Yeah, I didn't hear. A, I only saw the conflict on the street. You, what was that about, anyway? Uh, oh, that's a thing. It's the Baron's men and <laughs> elven soldiers trying to actually killing each other. Over what, though? Mm. I don't know. I mm. truly don't know, but one said it was Kovaz. I suspect the other ones are Amen. Uh, oh, I have heard a... Word of rumor that the Baroness has threatened to exile both of her sons. Seems she's tired of their squabbling, and I can't say I blame her. I mean, I wouldn't blame her either, truthfully. And just, 
Though, word of advice when you're walking the streets uh, later today, be careful. Red orcs are being imported to the arena. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you hear that, Severick? Be careful. Yes, red orcs, the size of, I would say, near dredge. Oh, maybe oh. finally someone can give him a run for yes. his money. <laughs> Probably. And of course, all the other crap that's going around. Yeah. Good lord. Seems a bit of a shit fight right now. We huh? have this, Carano, red orcs. There's a lot of things happening here. I am not liking, because a lot of shit happened in Adwick, and I do not want shit to repeat. No. Well, is the money still flowing at least? We're at least getting our iron ore. I mean, that's true. Money's still flowing in, technically. We haven't been closed. Though there is a dynasty to the north that has been trying to plead with the council, but... Hmm. Nothing. The Vapex or someone else? So... I, I believe it's the Vapex. That's the only other dynasty to the north of us. Truthfully, because they own the tribe farmlands. Hmm. Yeah, where we get uh, most of our food from. Yes. Apparently, they keep saying messengers, but no reply, and they're claiming it's an emergency. Which I fear might be related to something with Corano. Hmm. Given how close Corano is, north or up, towards the Vapex. So, that is worrisome. I'm just gonna keep my head down and keep making blades. Thank you for this, though. <laughs> Good talk. Well, of course. Come on, Severick. <sighs> Have a nice day, sir. Have a nice day. Don't get stabbed by a red orc. I could see that would be a little bit. Just carrying a big old sack of ore, don't mind me. Ah, okay. That's good. This music's gonna have some ore, hopefully. Something. Hold it. He said some more about a hobby. Ah. Uh, what are we. I guess we can melt that down now. And you could show me how to do that. <clears throat> we could do that. Oh, hello, Mr. Morden. Morden. He was quite the distance away. Where was he? Best I talk to you inside, because this is going to be too interesting. All right. All right, Severick, um, keep the forge hot, get one of those molds hot, and then warm the crucible as well. Okay? Okay. Good lad. Good. He hitched a ride from the cross keys in, <laughs> and he was further ac further afield than that. Was he conscious at the time, or was he? You know, I'm not gonna like what I'm gonna say, but I was right. Hmm. He woke inside a cavern in front of a sealed gate instead of a troll's cave. Somewhere farther from the cross keys in. He hitched a ride from the cross keys in to here. It is quite the distance to wind up on his own. Especially at night, that's quite a walk. Yeah, no shit. Well, at least we know where he was walking to. Oh, we found out where he was going. I had to find out what the gate is. If it's sealed, we shouldn't unseal it. Mm. 
I agree. Are we gonna be able to stop him from doing it, though? I don't know. Let's just say that the seal that we're looking at isn't a farce. Hmm. This thing, or these things, have a tendency to play with our eyes. There's no guarantee that this thing is sealed. It may just look like it is. I'm half tempted to take a cart out there to have a little look at this for ourselves. But, from what Soma told us, it's quite a dangerous trek. There's apparently an ambush point not too far from it as well, and it would take us a ride in a cart simply to reach. And then from there we would need Soma to guide us to a troll cave. If we do that, it needs to be an organized effort with everyone involved. If we half heart exactly. that, it could just end up bad. I've I've managed to write it off. For anyone that asks about it, I've simply told him that he got lost for a midnight stroll. He thought he knew where he was going and he just kept getting lost. He kept going and going and going in the wrong direction. Which explains the reason why when he found his way back to town he was so happy. At least from what the cart driver said, he was kissing the ground, so... We have a very eccentric surgeon, but at the same time, I don't blame him for what he's been through. This just keeps getting more and more fucked, Morden. You're telling me. Also, First, I heard a fucking rumor this, this, um, <laughs> that they're bringing oh, in gosh. red orcs to the fucking arena. They're going to be transporting them through the city later today. I'm sorry. Yes, you heard me right. They're bringing in red orcs for the arena fights. What fucking fool puts a red orc in a cage? We're about to find out. Also, I don't, I don't know if that... I don't think that ring can hold them. You saw what we faced in the north. Those things... Are no small threat. Yeah, no. If there's a number of them, they could get out. Yep. Everyone's making stupid. Oh, this just things. keeps getting better. On top of that, <sighs> a bunch of I don't you probably already know, but a bunch of Aralandi guards showed up yesterday. Uh, royal guards from Adwick, apparently. Which is strange, yes. considering the pass has been closed for two years. It means that whatever's going on over there is starting to either open up or there's more going on. If you remember, there was a bata two battalions of elves that left their lands into Ireland. For them to show up here isn't entirely off the table. The elves are having some sort of hand in it. Why does Nautis need to be such a catalyst to all this? I don't understand. From the... Looking at it from a geological standpoint, at least from where it is, its geography, it is on the very tip of the borderlands. It's not, sorry, it's a naval town. It has some importance, but I don't understand the importance for the elves and the empire itself. The empire would be a foothold. They already have their embassies. I also noticed a large galleon sitting in the docks. As I was looking for Miss Venora. Not Imperial, though. No. But still a large ship. Probably the one that brought in the orcs. <sighs> From a military standpoint, it makes sense to try and keep your borders shut. But for the elves? There are 
towns before noticed that should have had their attention before they came all the way up to here. Doesn't make much sense. None of it does. And the more the fires we put out, the smaller the ones keep getting bigger. The young lass, Fenora, basically confirmed that the orcs in the area are being led by a larger creature. More than likely a war boss. We suspected it. Which means they're going to get far... They're going to get more and more bold. But we have no walls. There is so much going on here. Hidden behind political games and hidden from view. The elves have some sort of agenda. The Imperials have an agenda. The Redods have an agenda. I still don't understand who it was that attacked Vesseran, but I know that five royal guards dead is no small incident. Apparently. And with four elves lost from a diplomatic party, yeah. it does not look good. Apparently the Baroness has had enough of it. She's threatened to basically remove the two Barons if they keep this up. So if she's tired of the squabbling too, that might be an angle we can play into. It might be. But then again... <sighs> I have a feeling... And this came from Lady Sif as well. She also mentioned that she'd had dreams, ill omens, of a tide rising, green tide, an orc tide. Apparently she believes that the Darklands themselves are on the move, which is not good news. Is there ever any good news? No. And from what I've heard, all of the master craftsmen of Vernfolder have been called back to Vernfolder. That is in no way good. If anything, that, to me at least, is an indication that they are preparing for either a war, a siege, or a defence. To bring every craftsman back to the holds. This is getting worse by the day. Yeah, you can see. And that. I have no idea what is happening. We are sitting on a powder keg for a better or worse. And we have far too many potential avenues from where it can be lit. It's very difficult to keep them all out. I feel that at some point the stress is going to break and something is going to happen. I'd asked an elven friend of ours, Tia, to look into a few things for me trying to look into seeing where we could find these caverns to see if we couldn't find when it was that the surgeon was going to end up but now that we know where he's going to end up I'm unsure of what to make of it but the hunter has informed me of something that caught my interest as a old battlefield in the region very old, several thousand years old. But what caught my attention is the fact that there were trenches dug. The only force that currently uses trench trenches in their wars, unless it's us Dawe against the elves, it's usually a tactic to try and ward off elven volleys, arrows. Oftentimes used in a defensive manner. But the way that it was described to me, the Empire are far too young a force to have any influence here. 
further to be trenches, it means that something else has happened long in the past. It could be a battlefield including some of either my kind or the elves. The problem becomes that if there is a battlefield, there must be something of worth to defend or attack nearby. I've asked Tier to look into it because I have a sneaking suspicion that it might be related. And with my thought process on the caverns that we've essentially now confirmed, if there is a gate that's being sealed by something, that more than likely means that it leads to a system. The question becomes what other systems lurk in this region that have went undisturbed. I don't want to go looking into these things, I'd rather collapse them than anything else. But I have a sneaking suspicion that these things are what our faction dispute, the factional dispute that is happening, have something to do with it, and that's just me following it, tugging on my beard. It's a heavy danger that if I do uncover something, it could probably pose more problems than it may be worth. Yeah, these things have a way of... <laughs> fucking everything up for us. At the very least... I mean, at the very least, though, I want to look into this cave. This troll cave and this door. Yeah. I could be wrong. And I hope I am. But it may be similar to the doors we used to traverse the deep roads. Or it may be a door from some other structure that turned into a troll cave that leads somewhere else, but I'd very much like to have a little look at the craftsmanship and determine whether or not we're dealing with another one of those places like we found below, or if we're dealing with something that we can actually handle. The first time we came across such something as my like eyes this, lie behind the steel gate as well. So... I don't want to unseal it. No, I agree. I want to, if anything, collapse the tunnel. I think we've had enough delving for one lifetime. Who and that's coming from a Dawi. <laughs> yeah. But the problem I foresee is that even if we were to try and cover it up, this thing has already shown that it is able and capable of moving Tang. Like he was nothing. If we were to try and seal it, it would simply blow away the rocks and thus would even cause more problems. My question is why is it showing it to us? It's showing it to Soma. And Soma is telling us why. Perhaps it expects us to act upon it. And with the upcoming five-day time limit that he has been given, the time is not again time is not on our side if he should once again vanish. This time I don't th think he'll be in front of the door. I think he'll be behind it. It's too many questions. So much of this doesn't make sense. I know for a fact that Zim's gonna blow a gasket when he learns it. But... I, at the very least, want to look into it. Find out what this door is. If it's made by Dawi Hand, Elgi Hand, or... If it's part of what we saw beneath something older. I'd much prefer to bury it within the troll cave than ever have to handle it again. That's my own opinion. But probably be better to talk with everyone else on it when things have calmed down. I asked Miss Basil and the others to take him to the bath to help calm his nerves, get him cleaned up. 
Or he's got more of a clear head, we can handle things. But, uh... Aye, it's no small feat. It's no small task either. So... For now... I'm going to go and deal with some other business and get out of this armour. And that I know that Veseran and Soma are both all right. I'd like to be able to have the freedom of movement again without being weighed down. My leg's already giving me enough trouble as it is. Sure thing. Stay safe, Dowie. And you lot. I thought it best I bring it to your attention before you get sidelined. At least I, now you have an idea. I appreciate it. Be right back, my ass. <sighs> Mr. Shriek. Howdy. Forge is still hot. I'll put all the things there. <sighs> I got uh, the flippers. Yeah, hey, nice. I actually need to go talk to Tordy as well. Um. Yeah, just keep the forge warm, I guess. All right. Oh, yeah, if you supplied the hides, I was going to knock down the price a little bit more. Hold on, where are you? Where, wh why are you not on my list? We are no Tori, you're out here committing fraud again? <laughs> not again, I don't mean to. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's, uh, it doesn't just matter regular, if you need to, but... it's still fraud. Yeah, it's just okay, regular it leather. Was just, yeah. It was just a silver. Ignor it was just Ignorance a silver. is not an excuse oh, for fraud. Oh, if that's the case. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Alright. Oh, did you have four hides? Four nah. hides? Ooh, ooh, I'll take them. How much okay. you want for them? 54. 54. Oh, all right. Can do. I'll grab those for you. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Hey, Sherrick. You owe me money, Torty. <laughs> he snuck in. What the do hell? I? I'm going to take it from you. <laughs> oh, uh, Don't laugh at like me. Boys. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a great <laughs> deck collector. <laughs> Drow on drow violence. Do you have my armor? I have a needle. Do you want to get pricked by this one? Huh? Oh, you're I yeah, also yeah. have a needle Wait, of, uh, of sorts. You do? I mean, it's oh. a little bigger. I mean, uh, he's yeah, got two of that's them. not the needle, that's a sword. I think you need to. Uh, I mean, he's got a dagger again. on his back. Yeah. But that's not a needle. This is a needle. This is a needle. That's not a needle. Where do you put the, the, the thread? Um, you want, yeah. Wrap it around this bit. There you go. All right, I'll go get okay, this. well then I have two needles. Ooh, wow. 
Whoa. I also have two needles. <laughs> actually, now that you now that you talk about it, there was actually a, a technique that people used to use in Gradia, well, in uh, Korokatis when they were fighting. Uh-huh. And they would wrap a ribbon around the base of their sword, a bright red or yellow ribbon or something like that. So when they were fighting people, they'd be distracted. And then they could get a killing shot. I feel like it'd be really easy to yoink it, though, wouldn't it? Eh, depends. How good you are in your yeah. stance and blah, right. blah, blah, and stuff and things. <sighs> there you go. Just like the old one. Fantastic. But, you know, oh, not the... Uh, Without a stab wound? Destroyed now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. How's Vezrin? Uh, hurty, but he's okay. Hmm. Well, that's good, at least. Yeah. Thanks, Torty. Yep. Let me know if of you need course. anything. See you around. Hi. Oh. Ow. <laughs> you okay? Jeez. Oh. I'm not very light footed. I just want to see what you're doing. What are you doing? Uh, you can come in the door and see it easier. I'm the needle working. Yeah. Hey. It opens and smells. Oh, yeah, sorry. You'll get over it in a little while, though. It's okay, don't worry. I'll never get over it. Ever. You will. I'm sure you will. Beep, 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 beep. Mm. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <A> to <Z. laughs> I um put in another order with the Merchant Guild. Seen... I'll go ahead. Not with the Merchant Guild. No. With the the other man. Yeah, um, Neath at the Merchant Guild. Yes. All right. They're not connected the way you think they are. Right, but he works in there, so I went to him and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, where is Torty? At her shop. She's in her shop. I've been doing laps. I'll be back. Uh, thank you for the blanket. No, you Is fucking it? won't. In the You're pillow. not dead. That's all that matters. I suppose... I'll be right back, chat.
Wouldn't that have been funny, Chet, if I was like, I'll be right back, and then I just didn't show up for the rest of the fucking stream? <laughs> All right, buckle your fuckle, Severick. Yeah. Never heard that before, but... Are they buckled? Yeah. All right, grab the crucible. And grab four units of iron ore. <clears throat> Not with your hands. Good boy. Oh. Uh, do I just grab four units with this? Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put one unit at a time in the crucible because we can't put four in at once because it's a huge amount. Just do one at a time, put it in the crucible, put the crucible in the forge, make sure the forge stays hot. The ore will melt down into its base iron. <clears throat> From there, you add another one and another one and another okay. one until you've put four units worth of iron ore into the crucible. Where did we put? The... It's here. Once it's fully Got melted it. down into the crucible, you take the crucible, pour it into the mold, and then we let that cool. Understand? Yeah. Alright. Let me get this out of the way. You wait for that to melt. How long should it take? Uh, depending on how hot the forge is, could take a couple minutes. Just make sure the fuel that there is enough fuel in the forge. <clears throat> then once it's fully melted and liquefied, we're gonna take the uh, forge shovel there and skim the top of it, and that'll get rid of any impurities. Put okay. the Throw the slag in the bucket over there. We don't want the slag. It makes bad iron. <clears throat> I'll show you. Yeah. See, see how there's a genuinely couldn't see the uh, shovel. <laughs> see how there's stuff floating around at the top there. Yeah. We don't want that here. Take that out and get rid of the slag. See how that bottom bit down in there is a lot more liquid and looks more shiny yeah that's what we want and we add another bit of ore to this one and wait for that one to melt too it's important that you get God. the impurities out otherwise the blade will fall apart okay And you get like a ladder or a stool or something. There's a stool over here. We need to get you like a, a ladder or a step that's made out of metal. So that when it gets close by the forge it heats up. And then you have to step on it to, to climb into the forge and burn to your little feetsies. Your little hobbit feetsies. <clears throat> I mean, bottom my feet are already, like, scarred to... Just like my heart. What? What? I'm gonna add another bit of ore now. Right, I'll add more to mine, I'm just gonna find that stool. Yep. <laughs> do we have to do... To take the stuff off after every single one, or yep. is it just uh, at the end? Okay. Whoa, what do you mean, take the stuff off? Are you talking about searching? 
be a, a slag. Oh, um, yeah. Well, you can do it at the end, but I find it's easier and you get a better quality if you do it after every melt. That way nothing gets, you know, pushed down to the bottom or, you know, whatever. Okay, I couldn't find it, but the stool's right here. Mm hmm Go and add one more bit of ore. When you're done with that. Um. And then I found it. How much metal goes into a trident? How much metal? Yeah. Uh, it'd be eight iron ingots. So eight of what we're about Not to do it. now, which is why it's quite expensive. So it's four per ingot. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost for an ore? Depends on... Uh where you get it from it varies a lot but the standard price for iron ore is uh, about five copper an iron ingot is worth 20 copper base but obviously we mark it up because we want to make a profit yeah and then every steel ingot costs two iron ingots and my sword here is is five steel ingots to give you an idea of how much fucking resources went into this thing that is an expensive lot. sword yes <clears throat> it's 20 no it's two so it's two iron per steel, and there's five steel, so that's ten iron, which is four times twenty. No? I'm on my brains. <laughs> you can... So ten iron, four times ten. So it's forty iron, roughly? Yeah, forty iron ore. And then that's not including the weapon hilt or the pommel on the end. Yeah. And the coal and the coal coke that goes into it as well. So take that out and then we will pour the crucible into the uh mold. Do I want to take the top off? Obviously. It's like Yes. What do you call me? Call you slag. You fucking you want the slag? slag. Put the slag. You fucking slag. Put the fucking slag in the fucking bucket. You cunt. You need to slag. Fucking slag. Now, quickly before that fucking, fucking melts, slag. pour that directly into the mold. Okay. Oh, I put that up here because you told me to heat the uh, mold up, right? Yes. Do you know why we heat the mold up? Pour it, pour it, quick, quick. Yes, I had a kick. There you go. Because if we don't heat the mold up and we pour hot things into it and it's still cold, it can have bits of steam. When you have steam underneath molten metal, it can cause explosions, and we don't want that because it would burn our skin off. Guardsman? You two see any suspicious individuals wearing blue? 
Uh, no. What exactly am I looking for? Uh, Just someone wearing blue? Blue is the only identifying factor we have. No, I've been busy teaching him how what, to make iron lingots. 